hello friends welcome to a new video in this video i am going to discuss another lead code problem okay and this problem is based on array so an integer array is given to you okay and that does not contain any zeros find the largest positive integer k such that minus k also exists in the array okay and return the positive integer k if there are uh, no such integer return minus one okay and the problem is largest positive integer that exists with it's negative okay so this is all about the question okay let's let's um, uh, understand the, this question properly so the question is saying to you is like they have minus one but one is not present two minus two is not present minus three three is present right so your answer will be three because you have to return the positive integer not the negative one okay in this example minus 1 1 is not present 10 minus 10 is not present 6 minus 6 is not present 7 minus 7 is present okay uh, sorry actually minus 1 1 is present actually sorry for that minus 1 1 is present minus 7 7 is also present but you have to uh, return the largest positive integer that's why 7 will be your answer okay so both 1 and 7 have their corresponding negative values in the array. 7 has the largest value. Okay. So this is all about the question. I think this question is clear to you. Let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay. So at first I will sort this array. Okay. In equal to 0 i is a nums plus length i plus plus then if uh, like array dot by binary say search nums comma uh, comma minus of nums of i Everything equals to zero. Then okay, here I will take an integer uh, variable max and I will initialize it max to minus one. Okay, and then max equals to max dot max of max comma um, nums of minus nums of one. Okay, uh, nums of i. Okay okay return max okay so basically here i have used binary search so and you already know this thing uh, to do the binary search array must be in sorted order so that's why at first i sort the array then i applied binary search okay so basically here actually i find out if the value with the negative values like and uh, like if i sort the uh, first um, array that will be like minus 3 then minus 1 then 2 then uh, 2 then 3 right okay so here as at first um, binary says we apply first element is minus 3 so basically here I am checking minus of minus 3 is what is 3 okay it is present right then it this binary search method will give you that index position like here the index position is 0 1 2 3 then this if condition will satisfied because obviously 3 is greater than equals to 0 right okay fine and then but the max value will not um, update it because max value is uh, minus 1 and the, the value is minus 3 right but means the max value at first the max value is minus one but your nums value is minus three obviously minus one is greater than minus three so that's why max value will remain same okay so the next element is minus one the so minus of minus one is one but they don't have any such element one is not present in this array then this binary search method will give you a negative value okay then this if condition will not satisfied so the next element is 2 
so minus 2 okay minus 2 is also not present in this array then this uh, binary search method will give you again um, negative value okay and this condition will not execute means it not execute like this if condition will not execute and this because this condition will not satisfied that's why okay so the next element is 3 okay and here I am finding the minus 3 index position okay so index position of minus 3 is what 0 means this is present right so this if condition is not satisfied because 0 is greater than equals to 0 right this if condition is not satisfied so now this max value will update because now we are comparing with minus 1 and 3 obviously 3 is greater than minus 1 so now the max value is updated uh, and uh, now the max value will uh, 3 okay so yeah then at the end we will just return this 3 okay this 3 will return so i think uh, this uh, is clear to you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section okay so this run set code okay so that's all about this video i hope this video is helpful for you and you can give me any type of suggestions okay so at the end i want to say thanks for watching